This footage was recorded two days ago by a group of Sri Lankan fishermen who went out to sea. No matter who we inform about this, be it the Navy or the Ministry, we have no redress. Look at how they are destroying the fish right in front of the Kilinochi camp. Look at how many Indian trawlers are here. There are more than 100 here. They come here at night and start fishing. We can't even sleep. We have been informing the ministry about this for days now. We have no solution from anyone. We informed all authorities about this situation, even those in Colombo. We have no solution from anyone. The Old Ceylon Fishermen's Federation spoke about these illegal fishing activities carried out by Indian fishermen in Sri Lankan waters. Indian fishing boats devastate our seas. They use a method called bottom trawling. They destroy the entire ecosystem. We informed authorities to take action against this. We have calculated and found out that the country is losing about 9,000 million because of this. The government must be held responsible for this. We would like to question the Minister of Fisheries, Douglas Devananda. Which side are you on? Make known your stance. Are you standing for the Indian fishermen? or for the fishermen in the north of the country. This is a matter of national security. On the 24th of this month, the Minister of Fisheries spoke about the issue of Indian fishermen encroaching in Sri Lankan waters. We held discussions in Kachativu on two occasions. We spoke over the phone as well. I made several attempts to address this. During the last year, I spoke about this when I went to India with a delegation of the Prime Minister. I discussed the matter with the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Foreign Minister Jay Shankar. Jay Shankar is a dear friend of mine. He was in Sri Lanka as well. Everyone agreed to this. It has not been implemented yet. We will solve this issue by the end of this year.